Hey everyone, it's Jason Dunn here from Digital Home of Thoughts, and it has been a while since I've done a video, but I'm excited to be back and showing you the new Insp uh, the uh, Dell Mini Inspiron 10. Now, this particular laptop, it bears the same name as the previous Dell Mini 10, but Dell is calling it the new Mini 10. So, it gets a little bit confusing, but basically there's the old Mini 10, there's the uh, Mini 10V, and this is the new Mini 10. So, let's take a look at what's inside the box. All right, so here's what's inside the package. You have your typical Dell, uh, you know, not very fancy uh, packaging, but it does the job. Uh, so I ordered this product um, pretty recently, just a couple of weeks ago, and it just arrived uh, a couple of days ago, actually just yesterday. So this is the first time I've seen uh, this particular product, and of course I haven't actually seen the new Dell Mini 10. Uh, no surprises to anyone that's watched any of my previous videos, I ordered it in red. So it comes in uh, a bunch of different colors. You can check out the Dell website to see what colors are available in your area. Um, one of the first things that jumps out at me though as I, as I take a look at the uh, design here, and, and you can probably tell um, just by looking at this, is that it has a very different shape than the previous Dell Mini 10. And even with most uh, most netbooks, like let me, uh, let me just compare it here to sort of a more typical netbook. So this is uh, an HP uh, Mini 1000. And you can see the HP Mini 1000, The uh, let me just move the camera up here a little bit. There we go. The uh, body design of the HP Mini 1000 is pretty much you know straight across, and that was pretty much what the uh, what the Dell Mini 10 uh, was. But this design is a bit more of a wedge shape. You can see as well is that it's uh, multi multi uh, color, so you can customize the color of the top. Uh, the bottom though is always going to be white, and I'm not I'm not entirely sure you know how how I feel about that to be honest with you, uh, because when you open up the laptop inside you have black so basically it's going to be black white and then whatever color you pick for the lid uh, and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that um, one of the nice things about this design though and one of the reasons why it's a little bit different in shape this way is is it has this big honkin uh, let me see if I can get it off here this is the uh, the uh, the six cell battery there we go so as you can tell here, it's a pretty big battery uh, because you actually have two rows of um, cells here. So your, your typical netbook battery with three cells or maybe four cells is going to be one row of cells. But instead, Dell actually uh, changed the shape of their design to optimize it and give you six full cells. And it's six cells without humping out the back, which is actually really, really cool. Now, it is a little bit weird that, you know, there's this extra space here, but Dell uh, must have needed um, that space or something. So. Let me just put this aside for right now. We'll just see if there's anything else interesting inside the box, although I kind of doubt there is. We have uh, the Dell um, power adapter here. Uh, this is very similar to the one for the uh, the previous Dell Mini 10. It's essentially a, a fairly small, you know, um, travel adapter, and I kind of like that it's all one piece and it's not like a, a two-piece rig. So I like the fact that Dell did that. And then there's uh, Inspiron setup guide, a couple of um, CDs. Now this question always gets asked: Why are there CDs if there's no optical drive on this? Because there is no optical drive on this netbook. Like most netbooks, it does not have a CD DV drive. DVD drive. So why do they give you these? Uh, if you need to use them, you need to get an, op an external optical drive. Some people order one with the Dell. Uh, it's an optional accessory, but if you don't have one, you need to go out and buy one. So that's why they give you the CDs. And we have another CD, which is uh, the reinstallation DVD for Windows 7 Starter. So this is Windows 7 Starter. This is the first official um, Windows 7 netbook that I've uh, that I've taken a look at. Uh, I've, I'm running Windows 7 on all of my other netbooks, but this is the first one I've actually seen that comes with Windows 7. So let's take a look at uh, some of the ports on this thing and check out what it offers. It has uh, a VGA port here. We have uh, two USB ports here. It has a uh, memory card slot, a secure digital you know, memory stick, etc., etc. You can put your memory cards in there. Along the front here, we have nothing at all. Along the side here, we have a uh, headphone jack, we have a microphone input jack, we have another USB port, so there's three, which is nice, and we also have uh, hardwire ethernet here if you need to um, connect. Uh, on the bottom here, and I'm gonna try to cover up my product serial number, although some of you sneaky guys may have already grabbed it. Uh, on the bottom, we basically just have uh, vents, you know, for uh, venting heat. And what's kind of interesting too is that there are no vents on the sides or on the back, so all the vents 
are along the bottom and there are some little raised feet you know to keep the uh, the uh, unit uh, cool as you can probably already tell uh, this lid is a kind of a fingerprint magnet it's not quite as visible if it as if it were a, a black lid but you can definitely tell when you hold it at an angle it's shiny it's glossy it kind of looks like you know a candy coated shell and it shows fingerprints so here's the inside of the notebook so let me just uh, peel off the plastic here and uh, there's some plastic along the bottom and oh there's even more plastic along here this is something that's a little bit different from Dell I haven't actually seen this much plastic before so uh, here is the inside of the netbook um, I'm gonna rattle off some of the specs while you take a look at this just so we know what we're dealing with here. So um, this is the Inspiron Mini 10, or the new Mini 10, as Dell calls it. Uh, and the CPU, it's using an Intel Atom processor, but this is the N450 CPU, which is, I believe, if memory serves, it's the Pine Trail, Pine Trail, Pine Cone, I don't know, Pine something, uh, chipset, which is a 1.66 gigahertz, so it's not really any faster than the older, uh, you know, Atom uh, chipset, the chipsets that you've seen in other um, netbooks, but what it does give you is a slightly less power draw, and since battery life, you know, matters on netbooks, it's pretty good to have that. Uh, this particular model comes with one gig of uh, DDR2 uh, memory, and actually, I'll take a look at the bottom here. We'll see how easy it is to upgrade. Okay, so uh, when you look at the bottom here, you can tell that there's actually no user accessible um, RAM upgrades uh, uh, slots. Now, one of the things I like about the HP Mini 1000 here. So this is an older model. The uh, Mini 110 is the newer version, but I really like the fact that you can actually just pop off this panel here and uh, upgrade the uh, memory. So I imagine for the uh, Dell Mini 10 here, you'd have to actually undo the screws, uh, the many, many screws all around here. And actually this, this whole lower chassis probably pops off. So it's probably not impossible to upgrade the RAM or swap out the hard drive, but it is um, a little bit more difficult than I would like it to be. So we have a 10.1 inch uh, widescreen display and it is at 1024 by 600. So this particular model does not have the high definition um, display, which kind of sucks. I would have liked to have seen a higher resolution screen on this, but that's probably something that Dell may be offering a little bit later. What they tend to do is they tend to release the base model uh, and then a couple months down the road, they start to give you different options. Like on the uh, ordering page for the, the new Mini 10, they're already mentioning uh, GPS, TV tuner, and a couple of other things that you can't actually order today. So kind of weird, but there you go. Uh, there's a uh, 1.3 megapixel uh, webcam which is right up here. Of course, uh, there's integrated um, speakers, and I'm gonna assume, actually it's kind of funny, I'm gonna assume, I don't actually see any speaker uh, grill anywhere, but this whole, uh, it's kind of this interesting mesh design. It's, it, there's a little bit of texture. I, uh, I like that. So I'm gonna assume the speakers are probably somewhere uh, up here, and they just basically come through the, uh, uh, the chassis. Uh, there's a, um, the video card is an Intel NM10 Express. I'm not actually that familiar with that particular um, Intel chipset. It probably sucks. Uh, most Intel graphics tend to not be great, but I am gonna definitely uh, check that out and benchmark it. Uh, the hard drive, I opted for a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and it's a 5400 RPM hard drive. So it's not very fast, but it is 250 gigs. It's very spacious. Dell is constantly changing the options that they offer. Uh, so the best thing to do is uh, go to Dell's website in whatever country you're in and check out what options they have um, for the hard drive. Um, it is, uh, as I mentioned, a Windows 7 uh, starter, uh, 100, 100 megabit uh, integrated um, Ethernet card. It does have a wireless 802.11bg inside here, um, and it does have um, a 56 watt hour battery. That's, that's what the battery is. And I believe that I opted for Bluetooth on this, but it's kind of funny as I look at the spec sheet here, I don't actually see it. So we're gonna have to boot it up and uh, check that out. So I'm gonna break here because uh, I wanna fire up the laptop and make sure it's all charged up. So this has been Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts taking a look at the new Dell Mini 10. This is gonna be part one of a two part video. So be sure to check back for part two. Thanks for watching.